How to make charcoal when gasoline is gone, the power grid's a corpse, and you're freezing in the rubble. The wood around you burns too fast, the smoke chokes you, and the night air bites harder than a feral dog. You don't need smoke signals, you need fuel. Fuel that lasts, burns hot, and doesn't scream to the whole wasteland. Dinner's cooking here! So here's the trick. You take wood, any scrap, broken chair legs, busted pallets, or that door you kicked in last week, and you don't just burn it a number, you cook it. Starve it of air, suffocate it, let it sweat black smoke like the world's worst barbecue. Find a metal can, or hell, any half-sealed container that won't melt like cheap candy. Shove your wood chunks inside, punch a few mean little holes, and throw it in the fire. What happens? Science, baby. The wood gas leaves, the carbon stays. It's like stripping a body to the bones and keeping the skeleton. Don't panic when it hisses and spits. Those are its last breaths. Let the fire chew until it's quiet. When you pull that can out, pray you don't drop it in your lap because congratulations, you've made charcoal. Black, brittle, mean little chunks of condensed firepower. Feed this to a forge, a grill, even a jury-rigged engine if you're insane enough. If it burns hotter, cleaner, and longer than wood, good. You've just turned scraps into survival. If the night glows and you're still breathing, congrats, you win today.